Hello! Welcome back to T2D TV. This is T2D and we are still on the second season of T2D TV live interview. Good evening, Denver, Colorado, USA! And good afternoon, Philippines! It is a pride and honor for the T2D TV to have with us today the reigning Mrs. Echo International 2019, Shella De Forest. Good evening, Sheila! Hi, Tito! Good evening! Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat! Yes, good evening to Denver, Colorado, USA, and good afternoon. It's afternoon here in the Philippines. It's Wednesday. Yes, but it's in USA, it's good evening because it's Tuesday right now. Yeah. Tuesday night. Yeah, so welcome to T2D TV, Sheila, our reigning Mrs. Echo International 2019. Thank you so much, Tito, for the invitation. Of course, my honor. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. It's um, it's kind of winter. I guess it's winter now, so malamig na. <laughs> ah, oo, kasi narinig ko nga sa mga kaibigan ko dyan sa Amerika na it's winter na. Minsan daw nga kasi umuulan na ng yellow. Yes, may snow na. Well, we only had snow like probably over two weeks ago, but since um, hindi masyado mainit, yung snow andito pa rin. Although, not as, um, not like, you know, in the other states na pwedeng six months may snow sila. Dito naman, pwedeng days lang. Although, dito oh. na. Oh. Talaga? Oh. <laughs> Oo, nakakatawa naman. Pero, sabi nga nila, sa ibang, sabi ang state daw naman, wala daw naman talagang snow. Talaga wala. Like, you go to some parts of California and Florida, yan, yeah, wala snow yan. Um, pero minsan, like, sa Texas, like, sa snow biglaan. So, depende. Depende. Oh, I see. Nakakatuwa naman. Hindi ko pa na-experience yung snow sa Amerika. Sana ma-experience ko din. Hopefully. Diba? Alang araw, pag pwede na tayo mag-travel ulit. Yes, oo kasi nga ngayon ang hirap kasi we're on the midst of pandemic. Mm -hmm. But it's been uh, more than a year since you won Mrs. Echo International 2019. If I'm not mistaken, that was June 29th? Oo, June 29th. Um, 2019. Yes. So it's more than a year. Oo, pero diretso pa rin ang, ano, ang advocacy kasi... Pag environment na ang pinaglalaban mo. Pinag-uusapan. Iba, ibang usapan na yun eh. Diretso yung trabaho. And especially now with the pandemic, a lot of um, issues have been put forward with um, with COVID-19. And, um, and it's intertwined actually. Um, racial justice, climate justice is um, intertwined. And as we advocate for for climate change and um, sustainability, I know it actually encompasses everything. So if we don't take care of the environment, it, all of you know, all of what we know, or our our home is um, will be affected, and we are on borrowed time. I don't want to be a doomsday. <laughs> um, Sayer, pero yes. um, as much as possible, we don't want to reach the two degree increase in global temperature because that will affect all of us. Exactly. So we should take care of our mother nature. Uh oh. And you are the first ever Miss, Mrs. I mean, <laughs> Echo International 2019. Oh. How do you feel like? <laughs> How do you feel like knowing that you are the first ever Mrs. Echo International? Well, I'm I'm humbled actually to be able to advocate and be um, a champion for the environment is a is a humbling experience because I 
I didn't actually expect to be in this path. And being an advocate queen is um, it's an honor and also it's a responsibility. So everything that I do, even up to now, is um, always focused on the advocacy for the environment and sustainability. So I'm so very active and working with different NGOs, local government units um, in the Philippines, even here in the U.S. So tuloy, tuloy ang trabaho. Yes, and you represented Philippines in the Mrs. Eco International 2019. How do, uh, how do you feel like that you are uh, uh, representing Philippines rather than the other country, rather than United States? Well, I'm originally, I mean, I'm Filipina, born and, born and raised. So I'm Filipino through and through, and I only moved to the U.S. eight years ago. And I am dual citizen, but iba, iba pag ang, ang flag or ang sash mo is Philippines, especially for a Filipina. It's, we, oh my gosh, uh, we are a, a pageant powerhouse country. Yes. And it's an honor actually to be able to represent my, my Filipino heritage on an international stage and as an eco warrior, it's double the honor actually for me. Yes, and I think it's a great factor if you are wearing the Philippine SAS in a competition like Beauty Pageant. Well, you know, in a way, it um, the support actually of uh, the Filipino community here in the U.S. and even in the Philippines. Um, people were um, supporting me on my journey, even if hindi nila ako kilala. Kasi I've been, yes. I've been away from the Philippines actually since 2004. I was in Dubai for eight years. I was in mm. uh, the flight attendant with Emirates Airlines. I was there for eight years. And then from Dubai, I went to the United States. So... So basically, I've been away for like 15, 16 years by the time I started competing. And luckily, I still have designer friends. In the oh, film. that's great. And they were actually very helpful with, um, with my journey, like, you know, helping me with gowns and my costume. So you support uh, iba. Iba. So it's, um, it's an honor. And I was, um, I was just thrilled. I was able to represent the Philippines. Even yes. Gentry late. As they say, um, there's always a first time for everything. <laughs> yes. But do you still remember the final questions at the Miss, Mrs. Echo International? Oh, my gosh. Um, I think it has something to do with... Um, like how will you be like an ambassador for the brand and how will you deal with uh, people who don't share the same values as you do, I think. And as a flight attendant, actually, at that time, I've already been to 55 countries and I've been exposed to different, um, like different areas. And so... I can see, I, I saw that, you know, some some problems or some environmental problems, even if, you know, they're in third world countries or first world countries, may, may similarities. Pero, syempre, may ibang countries, mga third world countries, medyo mas malaki yung problema nila. Like, even in the Philippines, we have a, we have a huge plastic problem, single-use plastic problem, and also electronic waste problem. And so... I was able to like pull on my experiences and my travels and I was able to answer that question and especially with the part that you know how will you deal with somebody who, have, who doesn't share the same values as you do and for me when you're talking about the environment our personal um, opinions um, is well I can say that you know the environment is higher 
is a higher cost than our own like conflict of um, or differences in opinion. So when I sit with somebody who doesn't share the um, my passion for the environment, of course I will talk to them and try to make them see the um, like the points that we um, we are promoting like in terms of conservation and um, sustainability and being more conscious of how how we manage our own lives and how we um, practice um, sustainability and being more eco-conscious in our own personal lives because um, these days are it's so easy consumption I mean the amount of uh, consumption is um, I can say you can say it's actually crazy and the amount of single-use plastic out there and especially with COVID-19 a lot of um, single-use plastics uh, use um, has actually increased so we try like you know like we try to campaign for people to be more aware and conscious but then the pandemic happened and then you wear single-use uh, masks or gloves and then people just throw them in you know outside in the environment and they biodegrade into microplastics which also will make our its way to our our own bodies because it will go into the water, the soil, and air. Yes, exactly. Just kakatuwa naman talaga. Ang ganda kasi ng ano, advocacy talaga ng Mrs. Eco International. O yung mga environmental pageants, um, at least we have a common common goal. We are championing for um, environmental awareness. So at least kahit pa paano, consistent, consistent kami ng message, yung messaging namin. So, it's just a matter of us lending our crowns and our voices and our time. And um, even, you know, kahit ngayong pandemic, of course, we had to um, pivot. A lot of um, our volunteering and activities, I mean, me personally, a lot of my activities are now virtual. Yes, um, yes, exactly. Because of, because of COVID restrictions and we can't gather. So, yeah. yung clean ups medyo tigil muna, pero syempre, tuloy pa rin kami ng ano, mga partnerships and producing content for different um, uh, um, like eco festivals or trainings for eco leaders. And um, tuloy pa rin. Yes, yes. Marami na tayong mga viewers. Batiin po muna natin. Gusto nilang magpabati. <laughs> si Marichoy. Hi, Marichoy. Kamusta? Sabi, sabi niya, Hi, Tito D. Hi, Sheila. Sabi niya, Ganda naman niya. Batang-bata pa ang face niya. Oh, oh di ba? <laughs> Ano ay eh, mga Filipinos were known to have uh, I mean were known to age gracefully. So mga bata tayo tingnan. So nakakaloko daw sabi ng mga bulahi. Hindi totoo naman kasi yung mga kakilala ko din na mga Americans pag nakipagkilala ko kasi pag tiningnan ko minsan parang sabi ko eh parang matanda na to. Tapos pag nakausap ko, oh my god, mas matanda pa pala ako ng doble sa kanya. Ano oh my god. Yes. Parang the last time I went in uh, uh, Vietnam, uh, someone came from uh, London. So, nag-usap kami. Tapos, nung, nak- nung nakilala ko, 19 pa lang pala siya. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sabi, ako, ako 30 plus na that time. Oh my God. Sabi ko, tapos tinitingnan ko. Sabi ko, parang matanda na ito. <laughs> what is that? We're known. We're known to um, have mga baby faces. Yung mga Filipinos. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's it's true. Totoo naman talaga. Tama yung kahit... Opo, yun ang kaibahan natin. Yung kaibahan talaga ng mga Pilipino. Talaga maalaga tayo sa sarili natin. Kaya minsan they were just thinking na parang ako, 40, 41 na ako eh. Minsan minakakausap ako pag 
usually hear on ano internet mm. na nakita lang nila sa so parang sasabihin na it's like 20 plus something like that oh my god i'm more than 40 <laughs> Ganda, hindi alata. O, di ba? <laughs> Pero totoo yun, kasi yun yung kaibahan nating mga Pilipino. Mm-hmm. Yes. Another one. Ayan. Marie Chris Galeria Gabren. She is watching from Oklahoma. Ay, hi! Magandang gabi. Yes, so magkakapitbahay lang kayo oh, dyan. Not far from here. I think, siguro mga two-hour flight lang. Um, Oklahoma. Ah, oh, two hours. Yeah. Ah, uh, lagi. Medyo ano, medyo gitna. Medyo Midwest kami. So, each, um, kumbaga, both coasts, um, hindi masyadong malayo. So, LA is about two hours. Not mm. even. New York is about three. Three hours. Three hours. Mm. She's a good friend of mine at Lagi yan nanonood ng mga live ko. Kanina nga, ah. <laughs> binigay ko sa kanya yung ano, yung, eto yung link. Sabi ko, may may live po ako kako ng, sabi, anong oras? Sabi ko, 12 po. <laughs> Oo, busy din kasi sila sa Amerika. Mm-mm. Sabi ni Marie Choi, the first Filipina winner in the Philippines. Yes. Si Mami Gemma Lozero, uh, ah. mother siya ni ano, ni uh, yung nanalong Miss Globe, uh, yung Philippines representative natin ng Miss Globe 2020. Fourth ah. runner up. Ah, si ano? Um, si Rowi. Si Rowi. Rowi oh. Lozero. Yeah, mother niya si Mami Gemma. Gemma, kamusta po? Ganda yes, andito. Oo, <laughs> oo. Oh, oh. And she will be guesting, I, I guess, next week here on Tito DTV. Kasi medyo busy kasi siya na sa island siya ngayon, ibalisin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Social. Social nga, eh, sabi ko, na, buti pa yun na sa balisin. Nagpapaaraw. <laughs> Oo. <coughs> sabi ni Marichoy, ganda ng dress niya. Love it. <laughs> like Ay, you. mahihingi na na. Hindi yung dress mo daw. Hihingi na naman ni Marie Choi. Taga ano naman si Marie Choi? Taga Cavite. Ah, okay. <laughs> yes. At regular din yan talaga na nag-aabang ng mga live natin. Talaga? Opo. Ang ganda niyo daw, sabi ni Marie Chris. Ang ganda naman. Salamat po. Ayan. Magkakapitbahay lang kayo dyan sa America. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sa <laughs> Based on my research, you won a different special award? Yes, pwede mo bang markup ito sa amin? Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting actually to win that many. I was only, I guess, hoping to even get one. Because oh. award for like the Eco Warrior Award, yung maraming social media or appearances. I actually thought, baka yun na makuha ko. But, um, I was surprised actually when they started, like, you know, we started with um, the eco video. They didn't tell us, like, who won for a division. Kasi three divisions, eh. Teen, Mrs., and Ms. So, mm-hmm. they played um, the video of uh, Teen Puerto Rico. And then, after that, Nung nakita ko na yung beginning ng eco video ko. <gasps> Sabi ko, this is my video. Nandun, nandun kasi kami sa, ano, sa backstage. And, I go, oh my gosh. So, my, my video won and we shot in Baguio and Benguet. And, so, yun yung first e- ano, award ko, eco video. And then, the next award was the eco costume award. So I, I wasn't expecting as well kasi yung iba fabulous din yung mga costumes nila eh. Kasi it has to be um, recycled or upcycled. Mm-hmm. And so I go, well, I did my best and sana magustuhan nila. And then when they called, 
called out Philippines. So I go, huh? <laughs> so that's number two. I go, oh my goodness. And then as beauty queens, Shampra, you fundraise for a nonprofit that is affiliated with the pageant. And I, you know, I, I did um, like a charity walk at, I mean, when I was in the Philippines, April last year, at the um, Nat Geo Run, kasi nga, <laughs> hindi pa ako pwede tumakbo nun eh. So, <laughs> nag-walk lang ako. So, you know, I did a GoFundMe for that, and people um, contributed to that. And, you know, like family and friends um, donated money. And I wasn't expecting anything. So when they said na may dalawang special mention, so they mentioned Team Puerto Rico and I think Miss North America. Mm-hmm. And then yung winner um, for the award, um, they said um, the lady who is going to get this award um, raised over $1,000. Oh. And then when the host announced Philippines, I go, ano? <laughs> so oh. my, one of my sisters in law said, uh, she said uh, she donated like I think $20 the night before. So I think it's my $20 that pushed me <laughs> the edge. <laughs> So, so you also, um, so I got three out of the four special awards, and I'm like, okay, well, this is cool. So whatever happens, kahit hindi ako manalo, may uwi ako, may mauwi ako special awards. So actually, at that point, okay na ako. Eh. Oh, oh, imagine four, I three yung nakuha mong award, pero four, oh. four yung award lang, so isa lang ang hindi mo nakuha. Uh, pero sabi nga nila, hindi naman daw pwede ibigay sa akin lahat. So... <laughs> Oy, mag-share naman daw. Mag-share naman <laughs> blessings dun sa ibang misis. So... <laughs> <laughs> yes, totoo. Pero nakaka-proud. Oo naman. Saka, syempre, Philippines yun, ano? Oo. Iba na yun. Iba na yung, ano, iba yung, ano, iba yung pakiramdam. Pag Oo, Philippines... Oo, kasi... Ash mo. Mm-mm. Kasi hindi ka lang lumalaban para sa sarili mo. You're bringing the whole country. Oo. Sa kayo na, ibang, ibang, iba yung support, ah. And, Opo. Yung, syempre, mga kaibigan ko. So, syempre, tulungan din. And, of course, for me to be able to showcase their designs. Kasi ibang mga friends ko, mga designer, um, like, um, jewelry designers, mga bag designers. So, syempre, yung mga outfits ko ng pageant week. Syempre, may Filipino ano, component lagi. So, lagi, na may mm-hmm. ma-upset ko, mga yung bags ko, shoes ko, or yung mga, um, mga dresses ko, mga gawang Pilipinas. So, syempre, di ba, you're, you're like an ambassador of the country and also of the artisans in the Philippines. So it's it's probably my way of helping showcase uh, Filipino design on an international stage. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh. But ano yung main advocacy ng Mrs. Echo International? So, ano talaga siya? Environment focused. And it's up to the queens which uh, specific topic you um you want to support or pursue and yun. so ano talaga siya as in environment and oh. um in preparation for the pageant Shepard, i had to read i had to read a lot because i was still I, i'm still new in sustainability so but i it was a learning experience for me as well and as as a person, actually, we have to keep on learning. We have to continually grow. So, hindi pwede yung kung ano yung alam mo two years ago, yung parin na alam mo ngayon. Kasi, syempre, especially with science, it changes. Yes. 
So you have to be abreast with uh, all the changes and technological advances and and just learn and just absorb everything you can. But of course, Chepre, we have to um, discern what's uh, fake news or not. And Chepre, it's up to the person as well and um, to do your own research and verify um, all the facts and ideas that you come across. Yes. Sabi ni Marie Choi, nabasa mo, malalamon ata at si Mrs. Shela ng mikropon, no? Chari. Chari, nakita ko yung mami niya, pakuda raw ako. <laughs> Oo, sabi niya kanina. Ayan, Mrs. Ayan. Shela, makuda, kaya nanalo. <laughs> Kasi nga, bago lang ako sa pageantry. So, ito yung mga terminologies na to bago sa oh. akin, mga oh, oh. malalamon ng mic. Um, actually, lately ko lang naki- nakita yan, like after... Like, came out, lumaban ako last year. And syempre ngayon, very active yung mga pageant groups, di ba? And, Opo. So yung mga sasabi ng mga, yan, makuda yan, yan, mananari yan, uh, or yung mga pasarela niya, yung mga nalalamon, mga kabugera. <laughs> Para sa akin, everything's new. And even yung pageant pati na turf, I only heard yeah. about that um, a few months ago. I ne- I didn't even know about what pageant patty means. I'm like, hmm? ano yan? Pago. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, sabi nila, kontes- yung mga kontesera. <laughs> yes. Oo. Kasi alam mo naman dito sa Philippines, kasi nga, full support naman dito ang mga Pilipino talaga. Oo. So, ang daming mga words na nabubuo in terms talaga sa paglaban. Kasi nga, uh, many were trying to, ano, tinatago talaga yung ibang mga word, tamang words para daw oh. sa ibang kandidata na naninilip nga, di ba? Kasi they were, yes, may mga ibang bansa nga na kumukuha ng idea for the Philippines dahil nga ang Philippines alam na nila na mahusay sa pageantry. Hmm. So kaya yung ibang mga tao sa Pilipinas talaga, gumagawa na sila ng sariling word mm-hmm. para hindi makuha ng ibang, you know, <laughs> ng ibang bansa o ano yung tama. Oh. Kaya pag sinabi, ayan, may mga nalalamo na ng mic. What's, what's that? Eh, kasi eh, kung ano lang talaga, kung iisipin mo lang, oh, makain ng mic. Kung mm. hindi, hindi ka, you're not into pageantry, no. kung hindi mo alam yung mga that word, you know, may ganun ba? <laughs> Di ba? Nakakaaliw. Like yung mga Facebook groups. um And they're very... Um, supportive and welcoming. Pag ba, minsan post ako, syempre, um, nakakomment ni mga, mga Becky. Oo. Oh, oh. um, Ang dami talaga. First, and syempre, marami na mga naging friends. Like, last year, we were in Atlanta for Miss uh, Universe. And, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sila Ethan, sila Willow, sila Raymond, yung mga pageant correspondent naman dito sa states. States. Or states. Uh, ano, mga correspondent for newspapers back home. So, kumbaga, nag, uh, we were able to meet each other finally at uh, at Miss Universe. So, syempre, I mean, we're still, of course, we were cheering for Gazzini. Mm-hmm. Yung Philippine Pride, andun. And then, we're still friends until now. And even, you know, hindi kami makatravel. Siyempre, uh, ano sa mga Facebook groups. <laughs> uh, ano, nagbabatian. <laughs> yes, totoo. Kahit ako dati, hindi ko din kabisado yung mga terms-terms, mga terminology nga sa pageant. Trick, kasi, hindi ko ano ba yun. Natututo lang din talaga ako. Lalo, siyempre, marado, marami na akong mga kaibigan, mga admin ng mga pageant, yung mga malalaking admin. Mm-hmm. So, minsan sinasabi lang, sabihin ko, ano yun, best? Anong ibig sabihin? <laughs> Ah, ganito yun, ganito. Ah, ganun pala yun. Kahit ako rin, hindi ko din alam talaga yung mga, mga wordings nila. Pero natututo at natututo naman talaga. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nasa industry tayo eh. So, we're bound to um, learn about mm-hmm. the um, lingo of... Um, yes. Saka parang everyday, ang dami nagko-comment sa mga group. Saka ang daming group na sa Pilipinas. My God, it's more than 20 if I'm not mistaken. Kasi halos halos kasali nila ako sa kanilang mga group. Oo. Ang dami. Tapos araw-araw, it's like 300 to 1,000 ang mga post nila araw-araw. Bawat-bawat group yun, ha? Groups. 
Yes. Tapos talaga lahat ng chika nandoon. Kung Pag gusto, gusto mo talagang matuto, if you wanna learn about pageantry, nako, at lahat mga chismis, iba't iba yung dagat, malalaman mo agad. Nandun lahat. Mm-mm. Kaya gaya nga ngayon, may chismis na na February daw yung Miss Universe. Sa uh, Miami. Pero, oo, sa Miami, Florida. Nung nakaraan ko pa alam yun, pero hindi pa naman naglalabas talaga ng actual announcement ang Miss Universe Organization. Uh, we'll pero see. nagsisirculate na. May, ano, may mga ano na, may feelers na. Mm-hmm. At ako naman, nag stoke din ako sa ano, sa Venezuela, sa, sa Colombia, Brazil, Mexico. Kasi sila ang mahilig magdaldal din ng mga ganyan, ng advance. So the last time, parang I mean, parang three days ago, wala akong ginawa kung tingnan lahat ng mga organization nila kung ano bang pinagpupos nila. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, ang dami na nag-message sa akin na, Tito, totoo ba? February nga ba? Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Sabi ko, hindi ko pa alam. Hindi, may nakapost na Tito sa ganito na February na daw. Kaya pala si Rabia, panay na ang handa, sabi nila. <laughs> well, sana, I mean, sana, sana. Kasi it was exactly a year ago today. Nung yes. Nung nasa kami for uh, Miss Universe. So, um... Extended din yung reign ni, Zo- ni Zozie. Kaya nga, oh, tu- no, tumatagal. The Miss Universe is crowned. She is, she will remain um, Miss Universe uh, 2019. So, we'll see. Um, I'm sure, makikita ko sa mga groups yan kung pag talaga nag-announce na. Yes, of ah, course. Ano, so, isa ka sa mauno mag-announce. <laughs> Ako naman, nag-a-announce din talaga ako from time to time, pero hindi ko kinoconfirm. Alam ba, hindi pa naman talaga confirm. Sinasabi ko lang na, oo, hindi pa confirm, nakita ko lang sa ganito. Ganun lang yung mga announcement. Pero yung confirmation na ito na talaga, yun. Oh, hindi pa. announcement. Mm-hmm. Si Beans nagpapashout out. Beans. Hi. Hello, Beans. Kamusta? <laughs> Yes, oo, mga, yan, katsikahan ko din yung bata na yan. <laughs> o, lahat ng kwento, lagi kami nag Minsan bago ako matulog, magkakwentuhan din kami. Talaga? At, opo, tapos, all about pageantry lang naman talaga. Lang pagkikwentuhan namin, laging ganun. Tapos in-invite ko nga siya, hoy, manood ka ako ng interview ko kay Mrs. Echo International. <laughs> diba? Nakakatuwa. Mm-hmm. And they were all supporting talaga. Oo. Tsaka syempre yung, ano, yung advocacy and um, syempre yung put niya lang may mga kaibigan dyan. So, dyan ako nag, ano, nag-train ng pasarela. Ah, sa Philippines? Oo, kasi pag modelo ka, ibang lakad ng model eh. Iba Oo nga, pag- ibang sa model. Oo. But I only had um, kumbaga one session. Well, it, it was three days uh, with uh, Mama Shandy. Belated happy birthday. I love you. Yon. Um, <laughs> oh. So, siya turo sa akin ng, ano, ng pasarela. Uh, anong kampo siya? Um, sa Aces and Queens. Sa Aces and Queens. Oh. Siya Pero, talaga mismo ang nag... Oh, he, para hindi kami sa, ano, hindi kami sa um, Aces and Queens nag... Ano, nag- sa camp. mm hindi kami sa camp. So, sa ano? Sa condo. <laughs> ah, oo. Ang dami pong ganyan. Kasi nakikita ko at nakakausap ko din yung iba. Uh, mga delegate mula sa iba't iba mga bansa. Na dito sila nagtitraining sa Philippines talaga. Pero patago. Hindi ah. nila pinakikita. Oo, kasi nga. Ayaw nila na mabas. Kasi especially pag natali yung Philippines sa Katarabambas. Ang mangyayari. Malbawa. Oo, halimbawa, uh, Colombia, dito nag-training, tapos mm-hmm. natalo ang Philippines, hindi eh, ibabas ang Colombia sa kayong nag-training. Nag-training sa doon sa Colombia. Bakit, wow. bakit yan training mo? Bakit hinusayan mo yung training? Dapat hindi mo hinusayan. <laughs> I, well, I mean, for us, ano, as teachers, as mentors, they have Oo. to help. They have to help their Opo. training. And syempre, they have to bring out the best in her. And even mm-hmm. with Mama Andy, so pinala, pinaglakad muna niya ako. Lakad muna. 
titingnan niya yung lakad ko. And, mm-hmm. and tam niya kung saan niya ako babaguhin. Babaguhin. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Meeting, oh my gosh, every time na pagkatapos ng training, pag uwi ko ng hotel, lakda. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ano pa yun, like during the day, I would have like um, mga coastal cleanups, tree plantings, um, visits to like organizations, and then magte-train pa ako. Um, so tagang pukpukan yung three days na yun. So, talaga, nung pag-uwi ko dito, tulog. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, kasi pagod. Kasi oh. sayang naman yung stay mo kasi sa Philippines. Oo, oh, oh, talagang ano, sinusulit ko yung biyahe ko dyan. So, talagang, ano, as in, jam-packed yung schedules ko. And talagang back-to-back yung mga appointments. To make, you know, mm-hmm. to make it out of the trip. Kasi, um, 19 hours yung flight um like yung total travel ko from Denver to Manila with Manila. stop in Narita so talagang medyo matagal yung biyahe so pag umuwi ako diyan so ano sinusulit ko na sinusulit ko na yung ano yung biyahe mm-hmm. <laughs> pero kailan po ang susunod na edition ng ano ng Mrs. Echo International ayan ang hindi ko pa masasabi um Shepherd with the pandemic, everybody's affected, and a lot of pageants decided not to do anything this year. And um, so, wait long. <laughs> oh, it's a bad guy. Kung kailan, and um, tuloy naman yung ano namin, yung advocacy, Shepherd. So, ano pa rin? Active pa rin. And I just, um, I'm starting a like a community uh, neighborhood uh, eco group here in my city and um I'm to organize and meet other um my eco warriors dito kasi mm. I've done like you know like mga cleanups pero syempre mga mag-isa ako nag-pick up ako ng trash by um by the creek or yung sa highway kasi pag nakita mo yung mga plastic or um, basura. So, syempre, parang ang sakit sa mata. <laughs> Oo. And, Totoo. It, and then you see people na magtatapo ng basura sa labas, tatapo sa labas sa kotse or iniiwan. So, parang, ano, instead na iwanan ko or lampasan ko, nukuha ko na lang and I would have like a bag with me, like a trash bag and uh um, like a trash picker. So, para yun, parang, ano lang, parang it's my civic duty na gawin yun. And I joined the International Climate Action Challenge as part of uh, one of my activities. I'm one of their ambassadors and a mentor as well. And I decided to be a challenger. And so yung group na to, yun yung project ko. So we are, we're starting small and we're um, trying to get people to join us. And now we are um, brainstorming on ideas that we can do next year. And um, this 2020 is almost over. So we are preparing for 2021 as well. Kung yung pwede nang maitulong sa community as uh, citizens and residents of this city. Oh, that's great. Sabi ni Tope, pa-shout out daw. Hi! Hi, Tope! Kamusta? <laughs> oh, mga ano talaga natin yan. Mga fans natin. Yan, mga yan. Talaga naging nandito yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Alos lahat po. Yung simula't simula pa lang yata na nag interview ako. Lahat ng mga yan. Dumadag sa tapos mga nagsisipagtanungan. <laughs> Minsan ang dami nila nagtatanong doon sa mga kandidata yung mga ini-interview ko. Oh. Ang dami, tinatadtad nila ng tanong. Kaya lang ako, hindi ako makapagbigay ng maraming mga tanong. Minsan nagtatampo na nga din yung iba. Tito, hindi mo ako pinagtanong. <laughs> kasi sa minsan, nakakaawa din yung mga kandidata. Kasi hindi naman pare-pareho nga yung ability ng mga kandidata. So, mayroong, mayroong iba na ninenervyos. Meron kasi ako mga na-encounter na gano'n. Na. Okay, okay, sige, stop na. Hindi na ako magtatanong ng iba. Yun na lang, ma- ano na lang, yun. 
medyo Mom. hindi hindi lahat. Mm-mm. Pero I mean like um during my like closed door interview kabado ko. And, oh. Oh kabado ko but um, when I actually spoke to our pageant director and um you 2018, uh, Ms. Eco 2018, because um, it's a panelist. And mm-hmm. said, yeah, nervous, but you were able to articulate and um, answer um, the questions that were asked. And I'm like, oh, okay. Kahit nung final <laughs> question, I ako as in. Like after, because top, top four kami nung ano, mm-hmm. um, um, semi-finals or finals. Mm, it was and, Norway, USA, and Costa Rica. Uh, uh, I remember. <laughs> the league. Oh. I had um I was the first one they asked. So and same question to. So ako yung mm-hmm. napasalang and um so I answered and I'm like Lord bahala ka na. <laughs> <laughs> I answered it with the best of my ability and um sabi ko bahala ka na and then after noon we exit stage ano off stage kami and um tina text sila sila Tito J, sila Tito Norman, sila mm-hmm. um oh my gosh, sila attorney to answer ko. Oh my goodness, sabi ko tapos na yung Q&A kasi natang mile. Eh. Ano kamusta na? Ako, ito tapos na yung swimsuit, tapos na yung evening gown at the special awards ko. And tapos na yung Q&A. At sabi ko kamusta ka? Kamusta na? Hindi <laughs> ko alam. <laughs> 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 Sabi ko talaga sa kanila, I think I blew it. And sabi ni Tito J, sige, mamaya, pagkatapos ng live, panonoorin ko ulit. <laughs> <laughs> yung Q&A. And then, uh, nanonood talaga si Tito J. And then sabi niya, minasa niya ako, hindi, you answered it the way it should have been. <laughs> I go, okay. <laughs> Kaya talaga ba, ano, I mean, touch naman ako na nung, hindi nila ako kilala nung una. Until mm-hmm. until 2018, hindi nila ako Pero nung oh. nila, na nila ako, I was with another pageant system at that time. And and then when I um, told them that I was uh, representing Philippines for the Miss Eco International, and so we had our uh, little get-together para, ano, para chika-chika, and kumustahan at the Henry Hotel in Manila. Mm. Sabi na, iba. Iba daw yung aura ko nung um, Mrs. Eco Philippines na yung, yung nire-represent ko. I guess, you know, it comes with representing her own country and heritage. So, mas iba. Iba yung pride. Oo, kasi alam mo eh. Alam mo, oy, Pilipina ako eh. Ito, ito, ito yung Pilip, ito yung Pilipina. O di ba? Sa confident ka talaga. Oo, oh, oh, saka ano, syempre I was able to showcase our heritage and um, the best way I I could and supportado din naman tayo ng you know, family and friends and then everybody. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Mm, yes. Hello Ace Jan Vargas. Ayan, ano din natin yan, subscriber. Hi Ace, kamusta? Oy, bata pa yan, makulit siya. <laughs> Oo, pero natutuwa ako sa kanya kasi very supportive talaga siya. Mm, lalo sa mga kandidata natin, talaga namang yung nandyan yung bata na yan. Natutuwa din ako. But how will you distinguish the Mrs. Echo International from... Miss Eco International and Miss Teen Eco International. Okay, so we are actually a separate pageant than um, the Miss and Teen Eco International. So iba kasi hiwalay kami kasi sila they're ano they're Egypt based, but Mm-mm. still, even if we come from different systems, it's still advocating for the environment that is important and kahit nga, um, even I meet other um, 
like delegates here from the Miss Earth or Miss Earth USA system. Sa amin, yeah, Miss Earth sila or Miss Earth USA, pero ang advocacy din nila, environment. Sa so, pareho kami na pinaglalaban. So, so sa amin yun, yung, the cost is actually higher than than the systems the, that we represent. So dun, kumbaga, we're all united in yeah. champions of the environment. So for me, that's um, that's more important. And um, as, a, as a queen, we are in a sisterhood. We are in an international sisterhood. So we support each other, even if iba-iba kami na systems. And yung iba, iba din na advocacy. Pero still, as a queen, you support. You support your um, sister queens and your sash sisters. Yes. But based on my research, the Miss Eco International is a United Nations goodwill ambassador. How about Mrs. Eco International? Um, we're not affiliated. Um, but, you know, as a queen, you can try. You can try and um, advocate and or campaign. But it's... Um, it's a it's a matter of you know probably approaching um or networking with uh, the different organizations and um but still you know like for me it's not a waste of time to like network with or you know seeking opportunities to collaborate with any organization and especially environmental organizations in this cause so I, I'm actually very proactive with forging relationships and partnerships with different organizations Kasi, or making um, opportunities or, you know, seeking opportunities for, um, like, networking. So these people, like, you come in contact with um, is somebody who can refer you, who can vouch for you um, some, you know, someday, <laughs> somewhere along yes. the way road and um so it's probably just a matter of time and um more like you know building the brand and brand awareness yes yes but i would like to thank you for supporting um uh, me is eco teen international you were oh. on uh, my live streaming last time no. and you uh-huh. are <laughs> and you are supporting our, our representative philippines <laughs> And she's from Laguna. Yes! Oo nga. So, magkakababayan kayo. Oh, pagsanhan. So, talagang Laguna native. So, I ano mean, yung nakita ko na um, talaban si Rowan at saka si uh, Isabel. Kasi para sa Laguna, di ba? Daniel. <laughs> oh, Daniel pala. Sorry. I'm like, Okay, I mean that's good, you know. Like there are two Filipinas uh vying for the crown, although they Daniel had to represent the Netherlands, but still she is Filipina. And um to um Shepherd, I'm sure more designers, yeah, poor Filipino designers then. So it's yes. you know facing um Philippine pride um on that stage. And both of them did, and they both of them did really well, and I'm so proud that um that um, Rowan won. <laughs> I guess oh, you called. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Hold it. Okay. Imagine, parang first day pa lang yata. Lahat na lang gumagawa ako talaga ng update talaga kay Rowan. Oh, oh kasi she's very, ano, she's very prepared. And um, she got a lot of uh, awards. awards as well. So, nag-ramp siya doon. So, sabi ko, Mm-mm. Laban itong batang to. And, Pero imagine, hindi siya in, an, she was just appointed by the Miss World Philippines Organizations at parang it's like how many days lang na na-pick siya. Yeah. Kaya nakakatuwa na yung preparation na ah, hindi siya na, na-prepare ng Miss World Philippines para talaga lumaban ng Miss Echo. Na, kumbaga, kulang yung, yung preparation na mayroon siya. Pero it, despite na ganun yung kalagayan niya na handpick lang siya. And, Pero ang galing! And I'm sure Miss World Philippines saw something in her. Exactly. Because, I mean, why would they um, 
pick somebody to represent the brand because she is um she will travel as um uh, miss eco teen philippines under the miss world philippines brand so syempre they probably they saw something in her and that she was ready to compete and despite the quick turnaround kinaya oh oh okay. ang galing nga kasi sabi ko bawat activities pumapasok sa top 3 oh suportado kasi kasi nga nasa philippines tapos natuwa nga ako yung sabi ng ho sabi niya pretty obvious na siya yung nanalo, sabi niya. Kaya, kasi ibig sabihin, talagang kitang-kita kasi doon sa activity nila na siya talaga yung mananalo. Oo, oh, sa best and not cost, di ba? Oo, oh, oh, tapos yung eco dress. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, siya and, din. And, uh, talagang handa. Handa sila. Oh, or, sa talent, uh, pangalwa siya. Oo. Mm. Oh, tapos doon sa, ano, sa swimwear, ando din siya, top 3 pa din siya. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. So, talaga, ko, may laban to. May laban. Mm-mm. And, At matakakatuwa, mabait siya. Dapat ang ano, ang mga queens, I think, humility is important. Kasi, um, you talk to or you work with uh, people from different walks of life and um, they don't know where or what they're really going through. And especially, like, um, with different advocacies. And some of some of the queens, or I actually um, did volunteer work with, um, you can say, underprivileged um, teen. Mm-hmm. And um, some of them are teen moms. And they really come from, like, um, humble beginnings. Mm-hmm. Of course, you have to be able to um, to relate or, you know, be able to um, talk to that um, that person. And, syempre, um, and as a queen, nagtatrabaho ka rin eh. So, you, kailangan maano, <laughs> hindi, um, how do I say this? Walang arte. Especially <laughs> for environmental work, we pick up trash. We... Alam mo yun, as in, misa tagal ang mga, ano na, mga hands namin, putik-putik. Talagang. True, true. Kami nang babakawan. And, talagang, ano, um, you may, I think, isa rin dapat yan sa, ano, sa mga characteristics ng queen. Oho, totoo. Saka natutuwa ako yung, ano, yung uh, pag nilalapit, ano, kagaya ko, kakausapin siya, nagre-reply siya. Kasi sabi ko, mahalaga din yun kasi, kasi kagaya namin, uh, let's say, nag-invite kami ng uh, interview, tapos uh, hindi nila pinaunlakan. Sayang nung mga, ano eh, nung mga, mga tao na mga followers na pwedeng sumuporta sa kanya. Oo. Saka, Uh-oh. laging may botohan. Nakaraan, actually, may botohan sila. Hindi nila alam mismo. Kasi kausap ko sila, even, even the photographer, even, Uh-oh. sabi ko, sabi ko, may botohan na. Sabi niyo, hindi po namin alam. Sabi ko, nakalagay mismo ako dun sa IG. Kasi sa IG lang pinos ng ano, ng echo. Hindi nila kapos sa kanilang Facebook page. So, nandun sa IG, nakalagay doon na ilalike nila yung official photoshoot Uh-oh. ng mga kandidata. So, hindi nila alam yon Wala lang nakalagay doon kung ano yung mapapanaluhan. Pero, definitely, since nagpapaboto sila, kailangan yon Oo. Uh-oh. At malaking factor since Philippines tayo. May sas Uh-oh. factor ang Philippines. Magpapatalo ba tayo, di ba? Ano tayo, very, ano, very connected tayo. In social mm-hmm. Talaga, ano, um, Philippines is like one of the mag-highest users of social media. So, opo. Oh. Oh, si Miss Globe nga, o oh, di ba? Ang nanalo tayo, 35%. Ang lamang, ang lamang natin pagkalaki-laki dun sa sumunod, sa pangalwa. Siyempre Philippines kasi. Oo. Oh, oh. At malaking support yung mga ganito, mga nasa media. Kasi they were asking help. Bawa, kagaya ko, may mga followers din naman ako. Kahit paano, kahit pa isa, dalwa. Kahit oh. malaking bagay yung dalawang, po, isang, isang puntos nga lang, malaking bagay isang buboto. Kasi oh. minsan dyan nagkakatalo sa isang puntos eh. Mm-hmm. Oo. Oh. So, yung bawal invitation, kagaya nga nung nag-interview ako ng Miss Universe Philippines, sabi ko, you have to accept kahit pa maliit lang yung na page siya nag invite sa inyo kahit hindi malaking page siya an malaking punto siya kahit isa lang ka ako na bumoto sa iyo oo 
saka it's it's a way of um getting the message across. And, mm-hmm. diba, I mean, like this telecast can will be watched by many people, like not just today, but yes, you know, absolutely. Um, for as long as it's um in the internet, pa although may share mm-hmm. video print naman talaga lahat ng posts natin, but yeah, mm-hmm. it, you know, a lot of people can see this and um. And even the the other interviews that you did with the other girls, so she actually na katulong din yung sa ano nila sa social media presence nila. But and especially if they, some of them intends to compete again in another pageant. So at least may recall na yung pangalan nila. Opo, totoo yun. Ano? Saka pag lumaban naman sila ng international competition, halimbawa Miss Universe, may botohan din ang Miss Universe national costume palang. Oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Lagi naman po, di ba? Saka oh, naalala ko nung 2013 si Ariela Areda, Arida ng Laguna, di ba? Oo. O, hand, nahandpick lang siya sa butohan, top 16 siya. Wow. Sa butohan lang po siya. Oh. Na, pumasok lang siya sa top 16 dahilan sa boto. Wow. Pero doon sa judges, hindi siya kasali. O. Pero malaking puntos yun kasi oh. imagine naging, naging third runner-up siya. Well, she proved herself when oh. she was top 16. And mm. a lot of her candidates naman, yung, well, Kat, <laughs> Katriona is on a different level. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So she raised the bar for, um, not only for Miss Universe, but a lot of the pageants. And, taga alam mo na, um, na, mm-hmm. na she, she is a strong contender for the crown. And but yung iba, yung iba nga sa seven mga dark horse. Um mm-hmm. uh, hindi napapansin masyado like yung mga um mga run up to pre pageant or finals. Tapos biglang pagdating ng um pre judging, ayan na. As in talaga nilabas na yung ano, yung mga bala. Oo. Oh, oh. So you never actually you can never tell. Generally, yes, exactly. Unless there are some who are clearly front runners, but still, you never know who will shine during um, pre pageant and the finals night. Yes, totoo so, naman talaga. As they say, you know, when the stars align for you, then the crown is destined for you. So, mm-hmm. kahit, kahit iniisip mong iba na um, somebody is de- um, destined for the crown before those two nights pero iba pa rin nangyayari on coronation night yes totoo at naalala ko nagjudge kayo sa Miss Earth USA United yes. State 2020 2020 so virtual din kami mm-hmm. we were supposed to be in Las Vegas um, for the pageant but Miss Earth USA um, decided to hold uh, a virtual pageant instead for everyone's safety. So mm-hmm. um, we had we had to judge um, the, their videos. So their swimsuit, their um, casual wear, and their gowns. And then we did the interviews virtually as well via Zoom. Yes, oo. Kasi naalala ko, napipicture kita noon, sabi ko, si Mrs. Echo International Judge siya. So, kasi I have two, two pages kasi. So, pinupost ko pareho yan. Sabi ko, oh, judge si Mrs. Echo International ka ako ng Miss Earth 2020 ng USA ka ako. Oh. Oo. What can you say about Lindsay? Well, I haven't met her personally, but I've had a lot of interactions with her because, um, of course, um, during their interview so we um we had the panel interview with her and after she won miss earth usa i was able to collaborate with her for a panel of discussion on pageantry and environmentalism mm-hmm. as part of uh, the eco leaders boot camp by uh, seed for calm headed by Dan Diaz in the Philippines. And um, I actually sent, of course, I have I had the course through um, 
Miss Earth USA um, the invitation for Lindsay to participate. And they were gracious enough to allow her because that was one of her first um, activities as Miss Earth USA. So we did the panel um, interview. So with Lindsay, with uh, Pawi Agrasada, who was Mr. Earth um, Air, Air pa siya, um, 2018. And then okay. Carl Roslinda, who was Mr. Earth International. So kami apat. So we're all eco um, kings and queens. And we did the panel. Um, we we had to pre-record it because yung time difference, masyadong uh, maaga. Kasi madaling araw dito yung magiging mm -mm. kami. So I, um, I had to ask if we can pre-record it. And they were kind enough to let us so she was she's so nice and she's very approachable and very humble hindi siya pageant patty kasi it was only her second pageant oh but she i say so talagang she was herself and um she's authentic so i'm sure nakikita mo naman interviews niya as miss earth very ano siya very um very passionate and um, knowledgeable and very, you know, very humble and smart. And, um, but I've yet to meet her in person. So, puro yung contact ko sa kanya, puro lang yung videos lang. Mm. But, ano, oh, ano, I'm, ano, nung, I'm, I'm humble. Nung manalo nga po siya, nung, ano, nung Miss Earth uh, United States, sabi ko, mahusay itong bata na to. Posible ito ka kung na manalo talaga ng title. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Ano siya, um, so when, you know, when we were talking to her and I'm like, ano to? Sabi ko, malakas ang laban nito. And she's a model. So, ma magaling mag-project. And talaga, um, even with videos and Zoom, and baka ano talaga sa ano um I knew I knew that she would be a strong candidate for the Miss Earth crown and I'm just humbled for the opportunity that the Miss Earth USA um organization also gave me because they only met me last year and um for me to sit in that panel with um established um like pageant um coaches and uh, brand managers i'm like i'm just um i'm a newbie to pageantry so i'm not sure really like you know how i'll go about this but i'll just jump in with both feet in and i guess Lindsay re um resonated with me somehow um i i felt like um but she was very relatable. And then when I learned that it was just her second pageant, and I'm like, now I know why. <laughs> so, that I, I guess I was able to like relate to her. And it turns out, yeah, we were both, we're both new in pageantry. And she would yes. even say that in her interviews, like with Tito Norman, I think. She's like, I'm so new at this. I'm figuring everything out. <laughs> so it's like, very, Anusha, very, um, um, minsan, um, yeah, na natural, hindi yung, hindi yung rehearsed or, Opo. um, masyadong pageant, uh, pageant answer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, talaga, wish ko sa kanya, luck talaga, in reigning talaga the Miss Earth 2020. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, together, dun sa mga elemental queens. Oo, oh, oh. I mean, Roxy, um, mm -mm. It, Earth, water, and at least, diba, um, hindi na wala ang Philippines. Philippines. Here. Oh, pasok pa rin talaga tayo sa uh -oh. top Alam four. Ito? Top four yan eh. So, the, ano pa rin? Oh. And she has her own crown too. So, um, nando pa rin. At least, um, hindi tayo na wala sa alphabet. Oh, totoo, totoo. Dito nga sa Pilipinas, yung mga group, Bago mag-finals, talagang sabi nila, nangangamoy corona tayo, nangangamoy corona. Puro ganun na babasa ko. Kasi mahusay din naman talaga naman yung Pilipinas. Oh, si Roxy. Si Roxy, pero... Um, si Lindsay eh. Sorry ah. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> si Lindsay yung minala. Eh, ganun naman talaga. 
ang lakas ng X Factor ni Denzi. Plus, I mean, she's a, she's a great public speaker. So, as a, as an environmental queen, kailangan marunong pa talagang ano, kailangan talagang, talagang marunong magsalita. Yes, But exactly. Don't be asked to speak. Misan, in impromptu, like if I'm in, like at an event or an activity and the organizers would ask me, um, Ma'am Sheila, pwede po ba kayo mag-speech? Or ano, sige, go lang. <laughs> Ipwede <Ipwadim, laughs> ay, hindi. <laughs> oh, pag, Oo. Ever pag, ano, especially you're an advocate, talagang kailangan ready ka, ready ka anytime. So, for somebody who used to hate public speaking, um, this is a big change for me as well. So, <laughs> Yes, totoo, totoo naman talaga. Kasi okay. gano'n naman talaga ang mga queens. Pageantry helps and, you know, develops your personality and and other facets of yourself that uh, you didn't think would be um, would be focused or will be at the highlight of yeah, your as a, as a queen. So, makakatulong. Mm, saka mawawala yung pagkamahiyain. Bawal. 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 I mean, sabi ko nga, di ba, kapala na nga lang na mukha. I mean, when I approach yung mga organizations, the most they can say is no. Or they ignore my request. Sa akin, fine. Somebody else will give me the opportunity to work with them. So, natang, ano lang. Um, go lang ng go. As in, email lang or mag sa so social media so well, it's a matter of you um fighting for your advocacy so yun yung nakakapagpalakas ng loob sa akin oh oh saka uh, maganda yung nakakatulong oo oh, oh naman oh, oh. Eh, um, kaysa naman yung tayong tinutulungan di ba <laughs> oo oh, oh. but um oh. Yeah, syempre nga lang, syempre yung volunteer work namin ngayon medyo bawasan. Pero tumutulong pa rin ako dun sa mga ibang non-profits, like nag-prepare kami ng mga food packs dun sa mga mm-hmm. families na yeah, are people who lost their jobs and uh, walang, syempre walang trabaho, walang sweldo, they don't know where they'll get their um, their food. So, may mga organizations dito na tumutulong na bibigay ng food packs or yung mga restaurants dito sa city namin, nagdo-donate sila ng pagkain for the day. So, yung mga wow. pa drive up, pupunta sila. Tapos, sabi na pa ang menu. Oh, today, we have halimbawa, um, lasagna or burger. So, sabi nila, oh, can we have uh, like four lasagnas and then two burgers, or whatever they need. So, and then we bag it up and then give it to them. And so, may pagkain na sila for the day. Oo. Oh. So, yun. So, Nakatuwa naman. Hindi naman talaga naputol yung pagtulong. Pero, syempre, nabawasan. Nabawasan because of the pandemic. And that's understandable. Kasi, lahat naman eh. Oo. Lahat naman tayo apektado. And, of course, we try... And of course, we follow the protocols for um, social distancing, wearing masks, and um, using hand sanitizers, and washing hands. Although, I mean, of course, washing hands is very basic. But yes. a lot of people still have to be reminded of that <laughs> because of this of pandemic. Of course. Oh my God, may git na tayong isang oras. Oh my gosh, ang sarap mga kanto. <laughs> <laughs> ang sarap. Ang, actually, ang dami ko pang gustong itanong sa'yo, pero tinignan ko yung oras. Oh my God! It's 1.24 na! <laughs> actually, natutuwa ako kasi maganda kasing topic kasi to kasi it's environmental. Eh. Oo. Kasi matututo tayo eh. Oo. Kasi nandito tayo ngayon eh. Nandito tayo sa ganitong sitwasyon at kailangan natin talaga ito. Oo. At saka especially pag sa environment. And like the Philippines, ilang ilang bagyo yung dumaan sa Pilipinas between October and November alone. Yes. Di 
pasunod-sunod eh. So, we are actually, or the Philippines is one of the countries that is at the forefront of feeling the effects of climate change. So, the more the Filipinos are more aware and they act, uh, there are a lot of organizations working in the Philippines as well and um, doing projects even during pandemic and um, continuing on with environmental work. Everybody, actually, we all have, all Filipinos have a responsibility as stewards of Mother Earth. So it's not just the organizations, it's not just the LGUs, but it's all of us. Kung ano yung magagawa natin para sa, para sa kalikasan, um, it's very imperative and important. And I've actually met a lot of new organizations through the International Climate Action Challenge 2020 from the Philippines. And even during the pandemic, they, they've done like mga backyard gardening, urban gardening. Yes. And um, they built their MRF, your materials recovery facilities. So they clean up. So talagang, ano, at least meron talagang mga um, advocates na may ginagawa. So, Opo. people can help, you know, all these uh, organizations and um, doing their their share, like, even with plastics. Alam mo yung mga sachet na, ng, ano mga, shampoo, sachet. Shampoo. Oo, as in, pag na, um, nag-clean up kami, ang daming, ang daming nakatapon. And, um, like, sa La Papachea, sa Las Piñas, nag-clean up kami doon with uh, Harry Bond Foundation. Oh my gosh. Um, shampoo, sachets, mga, yung mga chichiria, tools for mm-hmm. small toys. Kasi ito yung mga tinatapon sa mga estero. Opo. And then pumupunta sa Pasig River. And then eventually it makes its way to Manila Bay. And then, depending on the tides, bumabalik sa ano, bumabalik sa beach. Mm-hmm. So, ay mga basura bumabalik sa atin so if people would manage their waste and iwasan and mag-campaign um, ito pala yung campaign ng Eco Waste Coalition against uh, single use plastic um pakisuportahan po ninyo and um, kasi kailangan talagang isa batas and also you manufacturers to be made accountable for the end of life of these products or the plastic packaging that they use. And um, so, kailangan talaga, lahat tayo, lahat tayo kuminos. True, true. Kailangan talaga. Kailangan. At talagang sa Pilipinas talaga, mas kailangan talaga namang binabaha ang Pilipinas, kunting ulan pa lang. Oo, kasi nga barado yung mga, ano, yung mga kanal. Kaya Dahil sa mga plastic. Tawa ng plastic. Yeah, so talagang yun yung campaign for um, single plastic use. So talagang kailangan um, kung baga lakasan or talagang mm-hmm. everybody um, to do something as well. Yes, of course. Oh my God, talagang thank you so much sa time na inilaan mo. Ang dami kong natutunan. Salamat talaga tito sa pagkakataong ito. <laughs> Kahit malayo. At, pwede kang bumalik po ulit. Oh, naman. And maybe someday <laughs> to meet you as well pag naka-uwi na ako dyan. Yes, oo. I'm very glad to meet you personally talaga. Ay, salamat. And maraming mm-hmm. salamat fans mo. Ah, upo. Ang dami pa dito. May mga nakaligtaan nga ako. Mamaya magtampo. Si Jaisel. Sabi niya, Tito di Congrats for Miss Ecotin International. Miss... Akala niyo si Miss Ecotin ka na? Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> ano loka? Ako ngayon ko lang nabasa yung sinabi niya, pero... <laughs> well, well, salamat, Jay, sa so pinabata mo ako ng todo. <laughs> <laughs> Teenager ka na. <laughs> Hello, Natuwa ka. ngayon ko lang din napansin na may nakalagay na Ecotin pala yun. <laughs> Aliyo. Naaliwa ko dun sa message na yan, Jaisel, ha? 
lagi yan lagi yan talaga nagme-message sa akin kung saan saan Facebook account ko dito dito dito, dito. At, kwento yan ng kwento na tutuwa din ako sa bata na yan at nasusuporta din talaga siya sa mga queens kagaya nga niya ni Roan nakaraan sabihin dito dito yan oras magsisimula may pagkano'ng ganun pa siya eh. ay ko late ka na <laughs> Napuyat kayo, di ba? Puyatan niyo. Ay, eh. upo! Hanggang ala- alas 5 ng umaga, madaling araw na talaga. So, makit yung ulo ko. Imagine parang 3 days na masakit yung ulo ko na umiinom ako ng medicine. Talaga? Sa, sa puyat. Hapon yata dito yun eh. Oo, Kaya dito na- kasi nag... 1am dito, alauna ng madaling araw. O oh, tama, hapon dito. <laughs> Oo, so mga alas anong oras... Then, mga nine, nine dyan. Uh-oh. Nine ang umaga. Umaga pala. <laughs> umaga, oo. Oh, oo, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Diyos ko. Pero at least, oh, eh. ano, habang nagluluto ako, habang nagluluto ako, <laughs> naka, ano, naka, um, naka on yung sa Facebook ko. <laughs> Itignan ko yung mga, ano, rumarapan na sila for um, evening gown, nat course, and yung mga, Kasi, di ba, ang daming videos. Oo, opo, opo. Kasi, di ba, napuputol-putol tapos naglalag sila. Kaya nakailang ulit ako na pasok, ah, pasok oh, ulit yung ano, oh, yung live. Oo. Nung naputol, sa ay, ano to, siguro naglag. So, ano, nag... Sila uh, po mismo yung naglalag. Tapos, pag uh, naglag sila, mapuputol. Tapos, uh, kukunin ko na naman yung panibago, itano ko na naman. Kasi nga, ang daming nanonood. <laughs> Saka ang dami nag-request na, Tito D, maglagay ka ng live streaming na kahit mapuya tayo kasi alam ko mananalo tayo. <laughs> Sulit. Sulit yung puyat nyo. Totoo. Sabi nga nila, Tito D, sumakit din ang ulo ko pero alam mo, sulit na napuya tayo kasi alam mo, nanalo tayo. Sulit talaga. Kasi... Kaya sa lang. <laughs> Oo, kaya sabi ko, Hay, di bali sumakit ang ulo ko, nanalo naman tayo. Pero imagine three days na masakit yung ulo ko. Tumi- nagtitake okay. talaga ako ng ano, para sa etamol. Okay ka na ngayon. Ngayon po, ngayong araw lang na to. Kahapon hindi pa. Kahap- kagabi, kagabi, Oo. uminom ulit. Parang tatlong beses ako uminom kahapon ng gamot. Tama pala na ngayon tayo nag, ano, nag-interview. Oo, oh, oh, kasi nahalala ko, sabi ko, kahit bukas, interviewin kita, pwede. Kaya lang, nung nangyari yun, di ba, k- Alas 5 na tapos yung pageant. Oh. Anong oras ako nakatulog? Sobrang oh. sakit ng ulo ko. Kaya buti na lang. Kaya, perfect. <laughs> perfect talaga yung time na Wednesday dito, Tuesday night. Yan. Oh. Naalala ko kasi nga the last time na in-interview ko si Miss Grand United State, si okay. Abby Ap- Apaya, Api Aquaba. Mm-hmm. Uh, ang schedule kasi namin ay alo, 8 ng umaga sa LA. Uh, so that was... Opo. 8 p.m. I mean. Oh. So, dito, 12 noon din dito sa Pilipinas. Oh. Kasi sabi niya, Tito, pwede po bang 8 p.m.? Sabi oh, ko, yeah. sige, why not? Oh. Kaya lang kaibahan sa kanya, nakipag-usap pa ako sa organization ng Miss Grand United State. Oo. Siyempre. Um, mm-hmm. May iba kasi, they're not as free um, to talk to the media. So, talagang mm-hmm. org, um, Talagang yung guidelines sila. Opo, opo. Kaya yung presidente nila yun, nakausap ko yung presidente nila, nakakwentuhan ko pa, yun, naging followers ko pa. O, di ba? Pero so, <laughs> oo, oh, oh, eh, nung nasa akin naman kasi, nung Miss Eco Philippines, uh, nakita na nila na I've been talking to the press. And then, mm-hmm. even nga, yung, um, yung isang queen na may mo, ha? Nasa misosology ka? <laughs> Mag- ha? Ganon? Hindi ko nga alam eh. <laughs> Nasa kita ko, ay, oo nga, no? Si ano? <laughs> Saka nakakatuwa kasi it will add, ano, uh, para sa organization talaga. Oh. Malaking oh. bagay para sa organization. Mm-hmm. Um, be, um, talking to the media, of course, is, um, is part of um, your job as a queen. So, um, dating trabaho ko, kasi sa British Embassy, <laughs> ako yung, ano, press officer. Ako yung nag, naghaharap ng ambassador, different officers in, um, in front of the camera. 
in front of the mm. friend. Ako, back, ano na ako, nasa background. Ako lang yung, kumbaga, nagpa-facilitate ng mga interviews and scheduling. And yun yung trabaho ko noon. I never thought that I, I would actually be talking to the media myself. <laughs> si Marichoy tawa ng tawa sabi niya na loka ako doon na <laughs> dati hindi ko rin alam yung word na naloka parang ikaw ano yung naloka <laughs> eh ngayon alam ko na din kami sabi pag ganun pala wala natutuwa ka sa bagay na yun na loka sinasabi <laughs> Si Marie Cristawa din rin tawa. <laughs> We have a viewer in Argentina. Oh, sabi niya, Argentina, saludos. I don't know what time it is there, but uh, buenas noches, buenas yes. días, buenas tardes. Uh, mena? Mena Lautijol. Saludos. Saludos de yes. Denver, Colorado. Wow, hey. galing na mo mag-Spanish. Pauti lang. <laughs> <laughs> ako, hindi ako marunong talaga ng Spanish. Well, hindi, hindi na kasi namin inabot yung, ano, yung Spanish as a requirement. Di ba sa school? Oo, uh-huh. last time. The, the year before, I went ah. to hanggang 89, I guess, required. Noong 19, mm-hmm. never, oh, binubo ko talaga Minubuko ko talaga edad ko, no? Um, <laughs> Nabanggit na naman kanina, eh. <laughs> nung, ano, nung 1990 na, hindi na siya required. So, I mm-hmm. I took up French as oh. part my um, language, um, my foreign language elective, kasi tourism ako, eh, sa UP. And so, kailangan, may ano kami, foreign language. So, foreign Oh, so French. Um, I took up French for two years. And I can still speak a little bit. And it was actually very helpful when I studied Spanish. Now, my background oh. no French as a, and a, another Romance language. So, patulong. Saka adiw. <laughs> opo, opo. Saka parang, parang gusto ko din yung ganun na mas maganda nga siguro na may ganun sa school eh. Mayroong requirement na other yeah, language. Of course. Like a tourism required you on, because sure you'll be um, dealing with um, guests in. Oh uh, yeah, different people. Uh, yeah, in um, the industry, so you could be in a hotel, restaurant, or airline. So it was actually helpful for me as well when I was a cabin crew for Emirates. Na, medyo may alam ako na bushu. I know bushu. Si Marie Cris. No, oh, o sigala so, din yan si Marie Cris. <laughs> so, yun, <laughs> Ang dami din yung alam na mga words. Diba? So, so yun. So, um, at least, nga, yun, nag-aral ako ng Spanish on my own. Kasi after my first uh, trip to Spain. Wow. Um, uh, hindi pa kami mag-Spanish nun eh. Nung time na yun, sabi ko, pag-uwi ko, mag-aaral talaga ako. So, yung isang <laughs> off-day ko sa embassy, sabi niya, ano, may, op- ano, may opening, may courses sa, uh, ano, sa instituto, sa Rwandes. So, tatlo kami. Tatlo kami nag, ano, oh. nag- hmm. after, ano, after work. So, nags-Spanish lessons kami. Nakakatuwa. Ako nga parang ngayon, sabi ko, parang gusto ko mag-aaral ng Chinese, ng Japanese, Spanish. Parang lahat na lang yata. Gusto kong pag-aral. Eh, ngayon nga, madali na. Kasi may mga soft, may mga apps na eh. Like Babbel, di ba? Mm-hmm. Uh, Duolingo. So, ngayon, at least, kung gusto mo, pwede. Kasi Matututo, na, po. may apps na. Unlike before, you have to go to a school. And na talagang kailangan mag-aral ka. So, eh, nasa sa'yo na yun. Kung gusto mo oh. i-pursue. Matuto. Mm-hmm. So, mag-pra- ma- ano, kailangan may practice din because you lose oh, it. yung practice. Oo, yung pag, pag walang pra- you lose it when you don't practice. So, I try. Correct. 
Pro. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Alam yeah. mo mga ganyang word. Sa pageantry ko lang oh. din yun nakuha. Anyway, misan may mag-message, sasabi, Correct. <laughs> Kasi, di ba, yung mga models din, di ba? Siyempre, exposed din kami sa mga, ano, sa mga Becky. So, alam namin yung, ano, gay, gay speak. Gay lingual, o. Oh. <laughs> Pero siyempre, mga pageantry lingo, bago lang sa akin. O. Oh. <laughs> tawa na tawa lang si Marie Cris. <laughs> Tuwan-tuwa. Oh my God, anong oras na? 1.40 na? So 9.40 na dyan sa i- Ay, ano ng oras? 10.40 na sa inyo? Ba, siguro kina Marie Chris 11.40 na. Mag- mag- mag-midnight na. Oh yeah, sa kanila ay late sila ng 2 hours. So 11.40 sa kanila. Oo, 11.40 malamang. Oo, 11.40. Dati kasi late sila. Nag-adjust daw po kasi sa kanila ng oras dati. Late ng 1 hour. So dati 12.40. So Uh-oh. ngayon, 11.40. 2 hours na. Turn back the clocks for winter. Nakakatuwa naman. Ang dami nating oras na kwentuhan. Parang kulang ko na kulang yung 16 minutes talaga. <laughs> Magdadalawang oras na nga tayo. 1 minute and 41, no? Ano, 1 and 141, ha? Oo. Oo daw. Nakaka-enjoy kasi. Saka nakaka-enjoy kang kausap. Tama. Kasi you're very humble. Thank you. Saka siya Opo. Na- nakapagtagalog ako ulit. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, natuwa nga ako sa'yo kasi when, when the time we talk each other, sabi ko, Tagalog si Madam magsalita sa akin, naluloka ako. <laughs> oh, Mantala ko na yun na ano, nakakausap ako ng mga Filipinos aside from my own family. And yung mga, ano, yung mga Filipinos dito na kasama ko sa organization, syempre na pag-uusap kami Tagalog. Uh, plugging pala, if you can search in ano, YouTube, The Meet. Uh, Ayan, by... pwede po kayong mag-plug. Pwede uh, niyo pong i-plug yung mga platforms niyo po ngayon. Sige po, go uh, ahead. Um, we produced or well, I'm actually part of the cast for the last webisode. It's uh, a four-part webisode. And uh, it was uh, taped actually via Zoom. And uh, it's a partnership between the Philippine American Society of Colorado and Artists Inc. in the Philippines, in Laguna, um, si Tita oh. Adelita. And um, so, yes, um, actually, last Saturday, yung last episode namin. So, nandun yung blue dress. Oh! Oo, oh, yung blue na ginamit nyo. Tirapa uh, ko ulit siya and a few other outfits that um that are from the Philippines and from some of my designer friends and you know it's like pare new ano namin promoting Filipino culture even if malayo kami sa Pilipinas so nagtatagalog talaga kami as in i take advantage of that <laughs> so yung mother in the din yan ng mga ano ng um uh, yung mga interviews ko and some of them sabi ko i'm so sorry um Half of them are like in Filipino. Still, nod pa rin siya. Natutuwa siya. <laughs> <laughs> Ako nga, prepare ko lahat ng question ko. English talaga. Pero, <laughs> during our conversation talaga, nung una pa lang, simula pa lang, sabi ko, hala, nagtagalog na si Madam. Sige. <laughs> Tagalog na lang din <laughs> Pero lahat talaga, prepare ko talaga in English. Oh, Every oh. now and then naman, I have the, the interview, nakaprepare ako for English. Kaya lang, syempre, depende na din sa kausap ko kung nagtatagalog, alam naman mag english ako. Ang taray ko naman, Amerikano to kaharap ko. <laughs> Pero Filipino pa rin. Na Pilipina, <laughs> oo. I mean, nasa Amerika tong kausap ko. Kahit mag english ako dito, talo ako nito. <laughs> naman, Diyos ko. Alam, ano tayo, produkto tayo na ano, mababang paaralan. <laughs> Pero natuwa kasi ako, kasi nga sabi ko, you're speaking in at ano, Tagalog talaga. So sabi ko, sige, go. Kasi marami tayo mga Pilipino na nanonood. Saka mas marami yung Pilipino na nanonood kaysa foreigner, no? Oo. Diba? Saka mm-hmm. na, mas masarap magsalita yung sa Filipino. Oo, sa reliling lingwahe. Oo, oh, di ba? Saka I'm... nakatuwa kapag nasa ibang bansa ka tapos kung may nakita kang Pilipino, parang nakasabi makipagdaldalan ng Tagalog. Oh my gosh, um, don't laugh. Um, I was at a 
tawag tawag si Mary Chris. I was oh. at um an Asian store and um may dalinig ako. Sa <laughs> <laughs> nang sabi ng palayok. <laughs> palayok o Tagalog? Teka, Tagalog din ah. <laughs> So anyway, nung dumaan na sila malapit sa akin, sabi, ah, um, excuse me, did you just say palayok? <laughs> and sabi niya, yeah, I did. And so I asked him, are you Filipino? And he's like, yeah. And he asked, are you Filipino? I'm like, yes, I am. Then we started talking in Filipino na. That's, that was so funny. And um, yeah, so alam mo yun, when you hear, when you hear your language, Especially when I go to California, talagang lahat ng Filipino dialects naririnig ko. As in, kaya Tagalog, Bisaya, uh, Ilocano, um, mm-hmm. parang ako, Filipino to. <laughs> Especially in <laughs> California, I mean, ang dami ito ng Filipinos doon. So, dito bihira ako makarinig ng nagtatagalog unless... A Denver. Um, unless makakilala ko na or... Um, may mga yung kasama ko sa mga Filipino organizations yun pero bihira ako makarinig ng tagal oh. ayan friend na kayo ni Marie Chris oh, di ba <laughs> <laughs> o magkapit bahay lang naman kayo dyan eh two hours away <laughs> oo oh, 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 di ba mabait yan si Marie Chris din a good friend of mine very sportive to me talaga at pareho kayong mabait, pati ikaw mabait, kasi natutuwa. Namo, hindi tayo tatagal ng ganitong or, or, or katagal, no? Kung hindi ka mabait, ikakat ko na kanina pa. <laughs> Oo, oh, 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 totoo. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Sheila DeForest, for your time. <laughs> <laughs> Minsa, minsan talaga, eh, sinasakto ko lang talaga sa isang oras. Pag minsan, minsan, minsan kasi minsan nag interview ako. Minsan, ay, parang hindi ko naman bet ng kausap. May ganun din na akong time pag minsan. Parang napipil ko, sige, isang oras ka lang na pag-usapan <laughs> natin. Tapos. Just go touch the word but, Pero imagine na natuwa talaga ako sa iyo. Kasi ang, sar- ang sarap mo po talaga na kausap. Ay, salamat. Ay, saka, ay talaga. Oh, ayan, o, oh, di ba? Uh, kailan? Ayan, Marie, ikaw sabi na. Kailan ka sa Spring Springs, Marie Chris? <laughs> ano yan, mga one and a half hour um, drive. Ay, naku, personal yung pag-usapan yan. Mas maganda, mas matagal. Tatagal kayo ng mga sampung oras sa kwentuhan yan. <laughs> di ba? Mo- o, oh, kasi nakakatuwa din na... Uh, pareho kayong Pilipino that pareho kayo nasa United States tapos magkakar- magiging magkaibigan kayo that you're talking in the same tongue na nakakatuwa yeah. oo saka even um oh yeah. even <laughs> um basta nakakamit ako mga Filipinos and um syempre iba iba yung connection and bonding ng mga Filipinos kahit nasa abroad even sa yes. Dubai, um, even sa, um, I think Filipinos are the second most um, or second biggest community in Dubai after Indians. Indians. So, okay. Alakay ng community, ng alakay ng Filipino community sa Dubai. So hindi rin nakakala miss or hindi na hindi ka na homesick. Sa marami. Mm. Din. Hmm, hindi pa ako nakapunta diyan sa Dubai. Talaga? Ano na? Oh, ilang beses na akong in-invite ng kaibigan ko diyan sa Dubai, hindi man ako makapunta-punta pa. Ano, pag ano, pag makaka-travel ka na ulit. Ano na, Oo out. nga po. Oo. <laughs> Malayo. Oh, pero last time nakakuha ako ng promo supposed gay travel traveling nga, 8,000 pesos back and forth. Back and forth 'yun, ha? Puro 'yun, ha. Ano 'yan, Cebu Pack or Cebu Pack? Mm-hmm. Sobrang mura tala po kasi oh. yung regular rate naman talaga ay mahal. It's like 40,000 something like that. Mm-hmm. Pero yung nakita ko 8,000 back and forth si Gigo kaya ako. <laughs> para para minsan nakaka-thrill. Oo. Ano? Ah, sabi ko nung friend ko, si Gigo ka na dito, sabi niya dito ka na tumuloy, ganyan gagala tayo. Katuwa. 
Yeah. Ay, nag-work si Marie Chris. Oh, wow, Tito D. Yes, totoo po. 8,000 pesos lang. 8,000 lang. Yo, pero pag ano, pag uh, makakabiyahe ka na ulit and you still have friends there, go. As in, it's oh, enough. Oo. Oh. Call it that. <laughs> so, Marie Chris, <laughs> nag-invite na. Punta ka dito. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, someday, ba ng araw, Opo, someday. Malay natin. Okay, thank you so much talaga po sa time na hindi. Nakakatuwa, imagine 150 to na. <laughs> Puyat ka. <laughs> Ay, hindi ako puyat kasi taka araw pa lang dito. Ikaw ang puyat kasi anong oras na dyan? Alas, alas Di, ano, ma- ten, ele- ma- 11. Ma- Oo, oh, maaga pa to sa akin. Um, pero ano, ang cut of ko midnight. <laughs> midnight, oh. Parang Sabi si- nila Marichot. Ma- Love ka na daw niya. Poor log. Ay, love din kita, Marie Chuy. <laughs> <laughs> kasi naloloka na siya sa kaya. Saya-saya mo kasi kautap. <laughs> no, natutuwa. <laughs> si Marie Chuy, natutuwa. Nakakatuwa. Oo, nakakatuwa. Kaya in-invite ko. Yan dalawa na yan kasi talaga very supportive. Kaya pag in-invite ko yan, talaga nanonood talaga silang dalawa. At tuwa, natutuwa din kasi... Siyempre, expiring, ex, ano, dumadami yung mga kaibigan, mas maganda. Oo. Saka, siyempre, um, through, um, through your platform, nakakatulong ka rin sa amin um, to spread the word in our advocacy. So, um, salamat. Marami talaga salamat. Marami salamat na um, sa pagkakataon na oh. makausap ka. Diba? So, Um, I'm just grateful for any opportunity that uh, presents itself, especially for us to be able to spread the message of environmental awareness, especially for the Philippines. Kasi, kailangan. Kailangan talaga. Yes, definitely. And I'm so honored na makasama ka dito ang Reina ng Mrs. Echo International 2019. Imagine, uh, Reyna yung kausap ko. Masalamat talaga. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And do you have any future endeavor? Um, well, I'll still... You can plug. I'm, well, I have... Um, well, for the International Climate Action Challenge, we are having their impact uh, we are having our impact summit on december 13 to 18 and i think my my project video will be shown i think december 16th oh. and um so that will have my my interview and then we will have a happy hour as well and like a meet and greet so people can Um, talk to us, you know, about our projects and what we encountered or what we experienced during the 90 days because it's only a three-month project. And um, so um, I hope your viewers can uh, register at the International Climate Action... Oh, sorry. www.climateactionchallenge.net website and then they can register. It's for free. And they can join oh. and meet the challengers that participated in this uh, project. And all of us are, we have different um, different projects that uh, can hopefully inspire people into doing their own eco projects. And um, it, it doesn't have to be a grand or big um group or project i just started this um eco group and we're hoping to grow it and um hopefully um next year we will be a bigger group and we can do more events and um, projects and activities for for our city so marami pa rin. um we also have uh saklolo for mm-hmm. uh, it's a virtual fundraiser concert for Typhoon Relief in the Philippines. Oh. Yes, it's um, this will be um, this Friday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So that's, um, I guess, 8 o'clock. Um, oh. 
Central Standard Time this Friday and also December 18. So two um two concerts. Yon. So we are hoping to raise funds to be donated to Kawad Kalinga and um through NAFA as well, the Na um, National Federation of Philippine American Associations. And I will also be part of the Philippine Consulate in San Francisco, Pascuhan, or Noche Buena, virtual Noche Buena on December 12th, so it's a Saturday. And um, so people can go to the Philippine Consulate General San Francisco Facebook page, and uh, there will be performances by Ryan Kayabiab and other oh. Philippine artists. And so active. <laughs> Active pa rin tayo kahit sabihin mo hindi talaga tayo makabiyahe. So kahit, kahit virtual, we are trying to do our best to be able to help others, especially in the Philippines, especially for the people who have been, who were affected by um, the recent typhoons that came through. So we are trying and, you know, be able to reach out and even extend that helping hand. Kahit tayo. Oh, that's great. At uh, welcome ang Mrs. Echo International sa T2D TV. At uh, pwede kayong magpa-feature, yung mga kailangan nyo na i-post. Do not hesitate to send message to me. Okay, thank at i repost po natin yan sa ating page at para makita ng mga kababayan natin sa Pilipinas at sa iba pang panig ng mundo para they can do help talaga sa iba pa mga activities ng Mrs. Echo International. Maraming salamat. Opo, and please extend my thanks to the organization of Mrs. Echo International. I will. It is a pride and honor for the Tito DTV to have you, the queen, the first ever queen of Mrs. Echo International. Thank you and so I'm much. I'm wishing talaga na mas lumawig pa, more power for the organizations. And for the advocacy that you are into it, sana naman ay maging maayos na ito at after ng pandemic, maging okay na lahat ng mga bagay-bagay. I hope so. And I'm also praying for everyone. And I'm uh, wishing everyone a happy holiday season. And um, and praying for hope. Like for, yes. For all of us and for a better 2021. So, yun lang po. Yeah, so thank you, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, nakakatawa talaga Yes, of course. So once again, this is our reigning queen, Mrs. Echo International, Shela De Forest. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. See you on my ne next uh, interview. Yes, thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs>